Shabbat shalom, shalom, my Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. What does the obelisk stand for? Sun worship and much more. Today I'm going to tell you the one thing about the obelisk you maybe you never knew before. And the obelisk symbolizes the sun god Ra. And it was said to be a petrified ray of the sun. And it was thought to be a god that existed inside of it. And there is the Baal symbol and the rays. So uh, what is an obelisk? It's a four-sided structure and has a little pyramid at the top. It's been around in the Egyptians since 2400 B.C. Here's some ancient obelisks. They were always at the entrance of the temples. Here's um, one at the en entrance of the temple Luxor. And uh, they represented the sun god Ra, and that was Egypt greatest deity, and they said, creator of humanity and the source of all heat and light. So uh, because of their form, all the obelisks honored the sun god Ra. And like we said, the shape was like a sun ray. And uh, many of the obelisks we see in Rome today were taken from Egypt, the capital city of Helipus, and it was the city of the sun, and it was known to the, the home, to the cult of Ra. So the obelisk is the technical figure of one ray or a pencil of light emanating from the sun. But did you know the word obelisk actually comes from the word shaft of bell? And we know bell is just another way of saying bell. And the obelisk represents sun worship. We just found that out and worshiping Ra. But did you also know that it was worship of the phallus? And uh, this has been going on since the, before the, the Stone Age. And uh, it was very prominent in the Egyptian and Greece uh, architecture uh, where human sexuality received a high degree of attention. And this is what it represented to them. So the Egyptian obelisk that stands in uh, St. John, it's the largest in existence, and it was moved to Rome uh, in A.D. 317 by Constantine. Remember, in 321, 317, Constantine made a lot of changes uniting uh, paganism with the Christian church. So here is an obelisk at St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. And uh, Rome has more obelisks than any other in the world. The city of Rome has 13. And then uh, the most well-known, of course, is in St. Peter's Square, 82 feet tall. And it's only right now the height of what the original one was uh, in Egypt. And it was transported to Rome in 37 A.D. That's a long time ago, way before Constantine. So... Um, uh, and it is a sundial also. It can tell uh, the time of day, and it, go, and it shows the winter solstice by the shadow of the sun. So for more information about the solar disk in Rome or in all the world, uh, watch my last uh, YouTube uh, video, What is the Solar Wheel? So did you know we have a uh, obelisk here in America? I'm sure you've seen a lot of them. There's Washington Monument, and uh, that's in Washington, D.C., and it is both the world's tallest and uh, one of the most prominent stone structures. It's hollow. And we have another one that's from Egypt that is here in New York, Central Park. It was transported here in the 1800s, and it is from Egypt, and it does represent sun worship. So uh, the Hebrew word for matasabah is uh, something, a station, it's a column, and, uh, and it can be found in many places in the Bible. And it means this, a pole or shaft. And there was many, many verses, but I chose this one, Deuteronomy 12, 3. And wherever you see these, this word pillars, uh, it's that Hebrew word. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. 
So uh, the obelisk does represent the sun god Ra, and uh, it is uh, worshipped and sought as a sacred image. So uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, and so I hope this will give you a little more information today. We do have a lot of obelisks here in America. Yes, we do. So uh, Revelation 18.4, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers in her plagues and her sins. And please like if this was a blessing to you and share it with your friends. Uh, and I do have all these links below to look this all up for yourself and study it out. And uh, remember, I'm short and sweet, and I'll see you back again next week, yeah, willing. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss uh, any of the next videos about uh, the symbols and mystery religions that we've been studying. So bye, and thank you for listening. Shalom, shalom.